Hi, this is Dr. Lisa Dolly in the UNC School of Education and Director of the MIGHTY program. Thanks for joining me to give you a little bit more information about the MIGHTY program, which as you may know, is a fairly new degree program that just started in the last year at UNC. One of the problems that we're encountering in education that we believe the MIGHTY program solves is as educational technologies uh, continue to very rapidly advance, how do we educate the innovators who lead and invent the future of learning, um, whether it's in schools, in informal learning organizations, in educational corporations. And so our solution through the MIGHTY program is to create career pathways for those who want to become educational innovator, innovators, learning technologists, and entrepreneurs. We're seeing emerging job titles such as Director of Academic Innovation and Technology. This might be in a K-12 school district, in a university setting, um, in a museum or discovery center, for example. We're also seeing really new titles um, that are exciting, such as entrepreneur in residence. Uh, I saw that in a high school setting. Um, for those of you that are interested in actually starting up your own company or your ed tech startup, um, our program would be a great solution for you. Or if you're a teacher who's currently in the classroom and would like to go back in the classroom but would like to lead innovation initiatives in your school or your district, this program would also be a great choice for you. Currently, the mission of the MIGHTY program, we're interested in developing leaders in educational innovation who can do three things. The first thing is to create learning environments of the future. This is really exciting. In this first picture here, we see an example of the Beam Makerspace, which is on the campus of UNC and which you have the opportunity to use freely and also take courses inside this Makerspace. In addition to Makerspaces, you actually have the opportunity to design your own learning spaces. This was a mock-up created by one of our current students as we were building out a mini design studio in Peabody Hall. We're also exploring the redesign of the Carolina Center for Excellence of Education to promote flexible and personalized learning, and our students are engaged in that process. And not only do we build place-based environments, but we also build digital learning environments of the future as well. And this is a mock-up of the Mighty server built in Minecraft that was built by actually a couple of undergraduate students taking our course this semester and will be leveraged to offer a summer camp to use this summer on campus. This is an example. One of our students pulled this together as we're developing out our own VR studio on campus. Um, one of our students wanted to own this project, pulled together the specifications of all the equipment that we would need to purchase as part of our build out. So we were really excited to have this brochure to help the team understand the types of technologies that we could utilize in this space. The second thing that you'll be doing in the program is designing and scaling, a very important part of the program in entrepreneurship, breakthrough learning technologies, pedagogy, and curriculum based on the science of learning. So everything we do is um, grounded in the learning sciences research. Here's an example of a project, a very simple project that we started this semester with one of our grad students, Beatrix Hutton, on innovations in game-based learning webinar series. We had 10 expert speakers come in over the course of the series. Beatrix was a co-host on that project with me, and she had the opportunity to understand how a webinar series could be built and scaled with a larger audience. I mentioned our VR studio. As that is built, we'll need to begin exploring with teachers, with students, with faculty, what types of curricular experiences and pedagogy are appropriate in those types of spaces. And as another example, we're also working with the Apple Swift curriculum. Swift is a new code base developed by Apple. It's actually a curriculum that can start as early as kindergarten, which is really exciting for teaching coding. So this coming semester, we'll actually be learning Swift and coding our own apps and uploading them to the App Store. Finally, the third thing that you'll be doing as part of program is learning to lead and inspire transformational change in technology intensive learning organizations. A very important part of the program is serving in a year-long internship, which could be in one or two settings, 
where you not only explore innovation, but then take that innovation to scale. We have a e very extensive network through the UNC Innovate Carolina network. We have over access to over 15 incubators and accelerators on campus, multiple competitions and funding opportunities for your great ideas and workspaces um, like the launch. Uh, on the right, you see some local um, ed tech corporations that we work in partnership with. We have over a hundred placement options for your internship and um, each of those are matched with you in terms of what your goals and desires are. So once you apply and you're accepted in the program, we'll sit down with you. We'll talk about the different internship opportunities we have available and you'll get the opportunity to pick and choose the internship that's right for you. Some of the um, program characteristics. First, let me start with the faculty, which I feel very honored to work with. Dr. Key Sawyer was the founder of the MITEI program. He's also the Morgan Distinguished Professor in Educational Innovations in the School of Education and is a global authority on creativity. And so you do have the opportunity to take coursework with Dr. Sawyer or any of the faculty that you see on this page. Um, very distinguished faculty, Janice Anderson working in science. Dr. Steve Notek is an educational psychologist who works in interventions and social good entrepreneurship, which is really exciting opportunity for those of you interested in starting a social good company. Dr. Kelly Ryu, who comes out of the learning design program at Stanford and actually managed that program. And Dr. Jeff Green, who is also a world renowned educational psychologist and learning scientist. Some of the characteristics of our program, this is a professional degree program. So if you're interested in a research focused program and going on to do a PhD, becoming a professor, conducting research and writing publications for um, publications in research journals, this is not the program for you. You want to consider our learning science program and get a PhD in that program. This program is focused on people who will go out in the professional world working in K-12 school districts, in higher ed, in nonprofits, in informal educational settings, or starting up your own corporation or working in a corporation. Um, so it would be considered a professional terminal degree. We do offer a full-time or part-time option. Um, and so that's really based on your needs. The full-time option is very intensive. It's a one-year experience where you take five courses in the fall and spring and two courses in the summer completing your thesis project. For the part-time option, we do ask that you be able to commit to at least two courses per semester. And that's because um, while you're in your internship, there's also an integrative seminar that goes along with that. And so you need to be able to commit to that. And you also only have five years to complete the degree. And so you do need to take more than one course per semester. Starting fall 2018, we are opening our admissions to both fall and spring semester. We'll be taking 20 students only in fall 2018 and 20 additional students in spring 2019. Right now, our program is campus-based. So if you do register, you are required to take at least 50% of your courses technically on campus. However, having said that, all of the courses I teach and many of our new courses coming online are taught either hybrid and or fully online. And so you don't need to come to campus for every single course. We are exploring and plan to um, seek approval for a fully online degree option. However, we don't plan to have that in place anytime earlier than spring 2019. I did mention the program can be completed as quickly as one year by going full time. We do customize the program and the coursework to your interests. There are several required courses, but beyond that, you have quite a bit of flexibility in terms of your coursework. We do offer classes in conjunction, not only in the School of Education, are most of our courses open to you, but also we have courses that students take in the Keenan Flagler Business School, um, courses and programs like Startup U. Um, the School of Information and Library Science and the Department of Computer Science for those of you wanting to get more experience with coding and or development of serious games or apps, things along those lines. The structure of the program itself is currently 36 semester units. 24 of those units are content courses, so eight courses. And um, 
let's see, I didn't lay those out, but um, two of those courses are your internship courses, two of them are integrative courses, and then, um, oh, there's your internship, one day per week, fall and spring semester, and then the remainder are electives, and then you conclude in the summer with your MA thesis project. A big part of the program is getting involved in innovation work. Uh, these are projects, these are research-based projects, not research in the sense of publications, but design-based research. So we use DBR extensively to develop our prototypes, test them, we collect data, we iterate, we send out the next prototype, we collect more data, etc. in order to keep finely tuning our development and eventually and hopefully get it out to a larger market. Some of the innovation projects that we're involved in right now is the redesign of the Carolina Center for Excellence in Education. This is a facility two miles from our campus. It's attached to a local middle school and we um, not only will many of our courses be taught here but we'll also be um, offering fellowships for some of our students to work in this space. You can see just from some of the pictures and some of the titles, we have amazing production facilities with green screen, virtual reality, augmented reality, makerspace, robotics, engineering, um, flexible classroom space, Genius Bar, and more. This is gonna be a very exciting facility that we're building out in phases, and we're hopeful that you would participate with us in this space. Epic Academy is a grant that was just funded. We developed it in partnership with Surrey County Schools. We are scaling a statewide um, teacher professional development project in digital literacy. And so we've, um, Surrey County Schools has developed this series of badges on different digital literacy skills required in the state of North Carolina. And the opportunity to scale that statewide is a really exciting project for us. One of the other projects that we're working on is a teen summer camp that we'll be offering out of the Carolina Center for Excellence of Education. We're currently calling it Dream Builders. On the right you can see the type of flyers that we produce for these types of camps. This one was built for Teen Game Lab, but some of the camps that we're exploring right now are things like Make Your Own App, Game Design in Minecraft, Maker Fair, Digital Storyteller, Esports Club, and AR VR Zone. Our students have the opportunity not only to design these camps, teach these camps, um, but these will become an entrepreneurial opportunity to actually engage in the business of hosting these camps, developing revenue streams, and understanding cash flow and how to scale out a business around summer camp opportunities. And just to give you an example of the types of students that we bring in the program, our students come from all fields. Some have teaching credentials, not everyone. Uh, one of our great students this year is Beatrix Hutton. She was one of our Merit Assistantship awardees. Beatrix was teaching English in Japan. She doesn't have a formal ed um, background as an educator. Uh, she does have some background as an artist and she's interested in learning space design and this just in one semester Beatrix has done a market analysis in preparation for our summer camps analyzing how teens live work and play. She was the co-host on our webinar series. Um, she's been designing out not only uh, mini design studio but getting involved in our CCEE redesign among many other projects that she's had the opportunity to participate in. So very excited to be working with Beatrix. Daniel Dinkins is a future student who will be joining us in fall 2019. He's currently a, UN a university program specialist at the UNC Visitor Center. Daniel has worked in partnership with his supervisor to develop um, co-developed the First Look program, which is a program that outreaches to middle school students to help them see themselves coming in college. And so these are underrepresented students. They serve over 5,000 students a year who come on campus to understand what it's like to be a college student and that college students, uh, college is accessible to them. Um, but they also turn away 5,000 students a year. So Daniel's interested in developing the first look augmented reality app. 
just a chance to give any student the opportunity to see what it's like to go to college and understand that college is for them, regardless of their background, regardless of their resources, that everyone has the right and the opportunity to participate in school. Um, I am really happy to talk to you at any point about your goals, uh, how you think the MIGHTY program may or may not fit those goals. We can explore that together. If you have questions around your application itself, you see the contact information for um, Patricia Harris, who's our Director of Recruitment, please feel free to contact either one of us at any time. Some of the minimum criteria to apply to the program, we're looking for a bachelor's degree from an accredited institution. We will need your unofficial transcripts from all the colleges you've attended, and we don't need official transcripts until you've been accepted. Uh, please provide a resume. You will be required to write a personal statement, a couple of pages on how you think the Mighty program meets your goals, your background and experience and um, interest in innovation, entrepreneurship, and learning technologies. We're looking for three reference contacts. You don't need letters, we just need your contact information. As far as your GRE or GMAT scores, those have to be completed within the last five years. And we do recommend as a minimum that you're in at least the 50th percentile. We can go down to the 30th percentile um, in certain cases, but we do have to write waivers. And so you would need to balance out on the other end on your background and requirements. We do understand some people don't test well, and we do take that into consideration. Um, but we would want to see strength in your other areas. And then um, if you're an international student, we do need to see your um, TOEFL or IELTS scores. Uh, please feel free to contact me. Thank you so much for your interest in the MIGHTY program and good luck as you move forward in your own educational career. Thank you so much.